Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and I'm resting today and today we're going to knit a cup cozy. Okay, so first things first, you pick your cup, okay? And I've just got a plain white cup with straight sides. Now the reason I'm, do I'm doing straight sides is it makes it easier to make a form-fitting cozy for your cup. You also want a big enough handle that we can knit a tab that's going to go through there. Now the size of your needles and the amount of stitches isn't really important in the sense where I'm not going to give you now I'm not going to give you a certain amount of stitches. I'm going to show you First, you want to leave at least a six inch tab, okay, a six inch length, and we're going to cast on however many stitches I need to go to the length of the cup. So this is why I'm not giving you a set amount of stitches, because every cup is different and you're going to knit to fit your cup. So I'm going to cast on I'm going to cast on, I'm using a, a four and a half millimeter needle. If your needles are bigger, your stitches are going to be bigger and your amount is going to be different. If you have a small set of knitting needles, your weave is going to be tighter. If you have large needles, it's going to be looser. So it really doesn't matter. You just pick whatever needles you want to work with or comfortable to work with and then measure it to your cup. But for starters, I'm going to put on, so let's say 18 stitches. This is a really simple pattern, folks. Now, because my tension is what it is, and remember, there is some give you can pull and push. I'm going to pull it out as long as it goes, and I'm going to measure it, measure it to my cup. Okay, you see that? It's just the right length for this size of knitting needle. You don't want it to go above, and you don't want it to go below because if it's too long it's going to make your cup not want to sit flat and if it's too long up here you're going to get a, a mouthful of knitting yarn so okay so this is the good length for this particular needle okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit to and purl to and knit to the end of the row and purl the last two stitches and we are going to repeat this, which is knit two, purl two, knit to the last two stitches, and purl those last two stitches. And we're going to do this until it fits around the cup. All right, so I'll be back when I've got more knitted and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is our cup cozy so far. And you're going to notice now that there's a ridge at the bottom and a ridge at the top. This is going to work in your favor because the ridge at the bottom is going to work like a skirt so that when you put your cup down you're not tripping the edge of your cup over the bottom of it and the top is to uh, cushion your lip so that you're not actually putting it in your mouth it's like a bumper to keep your mouth away and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this long enough to wrap around the cup without stretching it just to wrap it around the cup where it will meet on both sides of the handle. This is kind of awkward because I actually have the camera sitting on my chest here but now I've gotten let's do it this way I've got my knitting done so that when I wrap it around the cup it comes almost to the handle now I don't want it to go all the way to the handle because we want to actually stretch it so that it tightens but this is the length we want it. This is why I didn't give you any measurements folks because every cup is different. So now what we're going to do is we have how many stitches? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we're going to cast off the first 6 stitches and there is one two three four 
three. Four. I'm sorry this is so slow, folks, but knitting with this on my, the camera on my chest is a little awkward. Whoops. Especially when you drop the needles. Five. And six. So we're going to knit to the end of the row, and then we're going to turn the needles around. And we're going to we're going to cast off the six stitches at the other end and that's cast off one now we're just going to straight knit five or six more rows till we have a tab about an inch long so when i have that done we'll be back okay so i've knitted this la these last six stitches for another six rows and now we're going to cast these off now anytime folks you can look into my playlist and i do have a bunch of knitting videos that show you how to cast on cast off knit and purl some even for circular knitting okay so here's our last stitch now you folks are going to want to leave a good you know six to eight inches and we're just going to put it through our last stitch like that so now I'm going to take a blunt darning needle and I'm just going to thread this through here like this and I'm going to take my tail and I'm going to go back through this corner here just like that so that it's doubled I'm going to take my tail here and tie a knot now we are going to go over here to this corner let's snip that off so that you don't get confused here now we're going to go over here to this corner and we're going to take it over here and then all I'm going to do, we're going to snip him here, taking our needle off. I'm going to pull one back through. And we're going to tie this in a knot. Now if you want to get fancy, you could have crocheted that tail into one big thing. But we just want a good solid knot like that and we're going to trim these tails off here but what we have here is a button loop you heard me a button loop so let's get a button now before we put our button on we're going to once again take our needle and the original tail which did not have to be this long but it's going to work for us and we are going to fold our cup cozy in half and we are going to stitch the two bottom corners together like this just in a couple of solid stitches then I'm going to take my thread and my darning needle and I'm just going to weave along here just so I don't have to cut the thread so weaving it in and out of the row to the bottom here that's why we wanted such a long string folks the more you have to cut pieces off and tie knots the more apt it is to fall apart later on so now we're just going to take it and we're going to stitch this corner together we'll put it through that last loop there pull and give it a good tug and snip that off so now what we have is a partially finished cup cozy now one of the things I love about this pattern is its simplicity we're gonna put this on our cup and it's real simple to do you just pull it over your cup 
and we put the hole over the handle like that and now we're going to take this button figure out where we want it and we're going to pull our little tab through here and that's going to fit right over that button so we're going to put the button about three rows down okay so here's our cup cozy and all we have to do is slip it down over your cup just like that pull the tab through and over the button that goes and there it is a cup cozy this is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying cup and cup cozy all you have to do is fill it with candies or pair it with a pint jar of your homemade instant hot winter beverage or a gift card from from the person's favorite coffee shop the, the possibilities are limitless and it gives a personal touch that doesn't take a whole lot of time just another gift idea take care god bless